Hello Guardians, Mr. Armageddon here. When you watch any top tier hand cannon player, what you always notice first is that movement. That fluidity, speed and cleverness that you only really see with hand cannon pros. But if you pull out your microscope and start looking a little bit closer, you'll start to realize they actually use very specific movement patterns in very specific situations. See, here's the thing. Once you start to see the code in the matrix, you'll start to see it everywhere. From the three arc titans teabagging you behind sight and shields and comp, to the all black invis hunters also teabagging me in comp. Man, why the f do I play comp? See, when you get beaten by someone using good movement tech, oh, trust me, you don't just know it, you feel it. It's like electricity in the air, but with an aftertaste of testicles and humiliation. So what I'm going to do today is peel back the curtain to break down the most common and effective movement patterns of pro hand cannon players into easy, digestible weapon drills that you can start practicing and implementing in your game right away. I call the first drill the slide out finish. If you watched my last video, you know that if you begin with peak shooting at range, eventually you'll have to commit for the finish. A common way to finish a hand cannon duel is with an aggressive slide out of cover for the final kill shot. The reason why we slide out is for two main reasons. Firstly, sliding out varies the rhythm and position of the final peak shot. But more importantly, sliding out allows us to cover more angles while potentially cutting off any escape routes. So if we're drilling the slide out finish in a practice environment, this is what it looks like. Peak, headshot, peak, headshot, slide out and finish with your hand cannon. When drilling, all we are trying to do is to build the muscle memory through repetition. There's plenty of time to scale up the realism once we feel confident in our movements. And here's what it looks like in a real engagement. The second drill is called the shotgun shutdown. So what happens if we enter a duel in the mid-range? Maybe the opponent is closer than we expected, making hand cannon aim more difficult. Or maybe we're being pushed by an SMG, in which case they have the TTK advantage in their optimal range. In these cases, we are trying to end the engagement quickly and decisively, before the other person has a chance to react. The shotgun shutdown is hitting one headshot for chip damage, breaking line of sight, and then sliding in for a shotgun finish. This is what it looks like when we are drilling the shotgun shutdown in a practice environment. When drilling, all we are trying to do is to build the muscle memory through repetition. Peak, headshot, break line of sight, swap to shotgun, slide as you're leaving cover, finish. As we build more confidence, we can ask our sparring partner to start fighting back more until eventually you are both dueling in earnest. And this is what it looks like in a real engagement. The third drill is called the Gorilla Bait. So let's imagine you've got your hand cannon out like a good primary player and you peek the corner only to find someone barreling at you at light speed with a shotgun out. Well, what do we do now? You don't have the time to hit three crits at that range. You may not even have the time to swap to a shotgun to slide out. And even if you did, you're likely to die because the ape already has his shotgun lubed and ready for you. So what we do in this situation is we fire a shot to put in chip damage, break line of sight, and bait by creating either vertical distance or horizontal distance. This is what it looks like when we are drilling the gorilla bait in a practice environment. Notice how you can finish the bait by using either your primary, your primary and your shotgun, or just a shotgun. It's up to you and the situation. You can also create distance vertically instead of horizontally. The most important thing is that you quickly create distance either with your natural movement or with a hunter dodge Warlock Icarus Dash, or Titan Thruster ability. And yes, before you ask, here's Primary Girl doing it on controller. Yeah. 
Okay, Guardians, I hope this was helpful and don't forget to leave a comment below to let me know how your Crucible journey is going. I quite literally reply to every single comment. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to follow and subscribe. And if this video hits, let's say 100 likes, I'll make a beginner's guide to getting better at comp or trials. How about that? Good luck, Guardians, and I'll see you all in the Crucible.